All right, in this tutorial from SerpContest.com via the DIY Themes Touch page, basically we're screencasting all the tutorials from DIY Themes to kind of give you the visual representation on how to put this stuff into use. This particular tutorial talks about the many ways you can get visitors from your site to convert better to the action that you want, be it a buy a product, sign up for an email list, go to a different page, whatever that, that may be. So in this case, we're going to be diving into uh, the one they talked about in this video here about your about page, adding the sign up form, your email sign up form to your about page and crafting your about page more for your user. Cause of course it's not necessarily about you, but it's about what your user can get from you. What are you offering? Right? So I've done that already. I've created an about page kind of des describing exactly what this site is all about, about the tutorials we're making, about how we're uh, giving the visual representation of those tutorials via screencast and audio. And in here I have a couple sections I've left for my email sign-up form that I want to place. So I use MailChimp. That's the email that I have set up for this. MailChimp is a like Aweber, GetResponse, Icon, Instant Contact, or Constant Contact. All these ones generate code for you when you sign up your lists that you can add into your forms. So the one I'm using is MailChimp. I already have my code. I've created the forms and I've copied the code into my notepad here. It's a very basic stripped down form. And what I'll be doing is dropping that code right into the post. That's how simple it is. First thing I did though, is I set up several pages. I set up an, a, a thank you page and a conversion page. And I added them into a funnel in my Google Analytics by going to goals, admin goals, and then setting up a little funnel here just to track it, see what I can uh, find out and work with the work with the goals better. So I set that up and the pages are already on my page here. Now I'm going to drop in the code. So I'm going to edit the post. Take my code, I'm going to grab all of it line that up and I've even have a representation of the funnel here and the links to the tutorials from DIY themes as well that way I can reference back to them I'm gonna find the spot inside my post here where I want to drop the code so I'm gonna do it right after here bring that down just control V to paste that code in and one more place at the bottom control V go ahead and tighten that up update the page now I'm gonna go ahead and check it out so for anybody who actually reads this, the idea is to say, okay, I want, I want you to get on the letter. I want you to stay up to date with all the stuff that we're doing over here. So I give you the option here in the middle and at the end, in case you read the whole thing, for those that do, you always want to test your funnels, see how they go. All right, so it goes to the thank you page and it lets you know I haven't styled these all up yet, but uh, it lets you know that you need to confirm the link. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to subscribe, confirming my link, and here it goes. It takes me to this page right here. Confirmed, and there you have it. So now you're testing out your funnel to make sure the whole thing works, and I'll dress this up better, making it like, okay, do you want to check out this page? Do you want to go here? You know, because they're back on the site. So we're just in the beginning phases of building all this out and following the tutorials from DIY themes. So that's why you want to stay connected with us. That way you can see all this stuff in action. So there you go. If you got questions about setting up analytics or setting up a, a mail, like MailChimp or something, feel free to ask. We'll get those answered for you in case you uh, haven't figured that all out yet. Until then, we'll talk to you uh, in another video.